Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about my general rehab philosophy, which for me covers probably about 80% of most injuries. So just using my quad as an example, firstly you're going to get it moving in any sort of range that is pain free. Now in seri more serious injuries this might just be an isometric or a static movement where there is no movement at all. But if you've got a range that you can work in pain free, then use that, whether you're for example pin squatting, uh, whether you're uh, putting blocks under your knee to stop yourself going into more knee extension than your body can handle, whatever. So firstly, get it working at range, progressively moving towards end ranges of motion. We don't always have to use load as the key metric for which we're making progression. However, that's where we're going to go next. Once we've got it working at a range of motion that's pain-free, can we add load within that pain-free range of motion? So basically, heavy, slow work. Once we're getting it stronger in that range of motion, ideally towards end ranges of motion, then we can start to work on getting it working with speed. Now, even something like a tempo squat, but a fast up phase or concentric phase is still going to help because we're teaching the brain that it's okay for that injured area or the area you're rehabbing to move at speed. Uh, once it's moving at speed, then we can start talking about a takeoff phase or making it truly explosive work where you accelerate throughout the entire movement. The issue with most traditional lifts, so let's say bench press, deadlift, squat, is that obviously you will s inherently slow down at the end of the movement just because, well, you're not going to leave the floor or literally launch the barbell. Uh, however, when we're talking about jumps and plyometrics work, then we can start talking about uh, landings, we can start talking potentially about uh, Olympic lift variations just for the deceleration phase. Um, but as I said, in general, get it working at range, progressing towards end range of motion. You might need to start with some isometric work or maybe even some uh, heavy, slow eccentric work to begin with. Then once you've started to get used to loading up, then you're going to try and load it up with a bit of speed. And finally, testing the brakes work. So these are going to be harsher decelerations, any movement where you're basically catching yourself. So for example, it might uh, be just simple hop and stop variations. It might be if we're talking upper body where we're trying to, rather than release a medicine ball, we're trying to catch it and kill it dead. Hope you found this useful. Catch you in the next video.